important competition. Camby Brown joins us live from Sacramento, meeting the local talent and the rest of the team. Camby. So this is like a different sporting event. Uh, you know, we cheer on Team USA for a lot of things. Now we want to cheer them on for the World Butcher Competition. Now this is happening next year in March, but they are getting together right now and they're going to start working on this because this is just one of the things that they'll be working on. Danny, what are some of the things that you have to do in three hours and 15 minutes as a team of six of you guys? We have to take, um, with the hog, we're going to be making sausages. We have to make by criteria, a pork sausage, a gourmet sausage, a beef sausage. We have to take a half hog, a half beef, oh my. a whole lamb, five That's chickens, aggressive. and we have three hours and 15 minutes to cut that oh up. Gosh. That seems like so much mm -mm. that you guys no, have no, to no, do. No, no, no. You're getting together because you want to uh, practice together because two of you are from Sacramento, one's from San Francisco, but the other three guys are from the East Coast. Right. And so you guys are meeting here to try and get your technique down so that you can make this as easy as possible. Now, you guys met yesterday. How you feeling? Excellent, excellent. Actually, uh, two guys from the East Coast, one guy from Texas. One guy from Texas, okay. So we have the best butcher from Texas. He just won that competition. We have Craig Deal here from uh, South Carolina. And now, they find you guys from the Butcher's Guild. Who's the country to beat? Who won last year? France. France did. Okay, and so that's who you're looking at in terms of the competition, or what are you thinking? Uh, we're we're just going in there to, to, to win it. We don't we're not worried about the competition. Okay, right? I like that. We're coming right. Up with our own ideas and how we're, we're going to do things. How, mu how much more uh, often are you guys going to get together before you take off uh, next March? We have four more practices scheduled after this one, okay. and then we do conference calls. We're constantly text messaging with each other, emailing pictures. Oh. Wait, now wait a minute. Uh -oh, you are emailing happening? and texting and taking pictures. Are these like selfies of you with no, the hog, no. or what? What are these pictures <laughs> that you are texting in this group chat? And can I be included in it? Sure, <laughs> sure. We, we send pictures of uh, what we produce, okay. so ideas. Yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll do something behind the counter and. Are you guys like kind of try? You want to impress them when you take these pictures and send them? Like, look what I did here at Taylor's Market. No, not at all. We're not. <laughs> we're not. This team, after we met yesterday. Uh, it, it's great because there's not any egos. Everybody's really just, we're, we're the same mold. Yeah, you're just trying to get the job done, as you can see, because no one's even looking up or cares that they're on camera right now. They have a task and they want to get it done. Now, is this like televised? Is this like the CrossFit games where, you know, it started out, they just did it and now it's televised? Like, can you can we be able to watch this here? It will be televised in Europe and we are planning to do some uh, live streaming parties here. Okay, oh, okay, I oh. like it. Uh, so a possibility to be able to cheer on Team USA. Uh, they'll have some more practices to get this down, but uh, I have no idea what they're doing, but it looks good to me. <laughs> Wow, they are getting busy on that meat. They have really been showing off their skills, so we'll find out if Taylor's Market can make some things happen. Good luck to all of them as they get together. A big competition coming up. All right, this hour here in the studio.